In this video, we're going to be looking at column, column vectors, position vectors, direction of vectors, and the magnitude of vectors. So column vectors, first of all, column vectors are basically a quicker way of writing a vector. So if we had A, which is equal to 3i plus 2j, we could just write that as A is equal to column vector 3, 2. Likewise, this one would be the same as 5i minus 6j. So it's a much quicker and a more efficient way of writing our vectors, and that is it. Okay, uh, it says in this example, if a is equal to 0, 7 and b is equal to 2i minus 3j, find b in column vector format. So first of all, b, very easy. b in column vector is just 2 minus 3. And then what we have to do is find a plus b. So I'm just going to write them out in column vectors. And then it is very, very easy. You just add the top, the top row effectively and add the, top, the bottom row as well. So the top row is 0 plus 2, so 2, bottom row is 7 minus 3, so it's just going to be 4. Okay, I haven't left myself much space here um, to do the next bit. Uh, for part 3, what you've got to do is 5b minus 2a. So 5b minus 2a, I haven't left myself any space at all here, I'm just going to shrink this down a wee bit. It's better. Okay, so you've got your 5b minus 2a, so 5b is going to be 5 times your b is going to be 10 minus 15 and your minus 2a i'm just going to say minus and then 2 times my a is going to be 0 and 14. so when you do that out what you're going to get is 10 minus 0 is 10 minus 15 minus 14 is minus 29 and there we have our three answers to that part okay next thing we're going to look at is position vectors a position a vector a defining the position of a point a in relation to the origin o is called the position vector of a point, i.e. vector A, where this is where it's a position vector, is what the vector that takes you from O to the point A. So if we just do a uh, sketch here, I'm just going to mark on a couple of wee points to show where this is. If P is a point 3, 2, so very roughly 3, 2 is going to be here, if that's your point P, then the vector that takes you from here to here, that is your position vector of P. So that's from your origin to your P, is position vector p. This example says a is a point, a is a point um, one two, and b is a point five six. Show a o, sorry o a, o b, and a b on the diagram. So let's just put on a few wee markings here. So that's uh, we've gone up to six there, and then one two three four five six again. So 1, 2, where 1, 2 would be, that's going to be your, your A vector. I'm going to label it A. Your B vector is 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's very roughly up here. So that's your B vector. Okay, and then A to B is going to be the vector that takes you from A over to B. So there's your A to B. So I'm just going to mark on those points, make it a wee bit easier to see. There's your A, there's your B. So A to B is a vector that takes you between them. Okay, question says, what is the difference between AB and BA? And just say they are the same but in the opposite direction. So the same but in opposite direction, same. But opposite direction and also with that add in that a to b is equal to minus of b to a so it's just the same thing but it's just a negative version of it okay next thing for us to look at <coughs> pardon me next thing for us to look at is our magnitude of vectors so magnitude of vector is just the size of the vectors so uh, we're going to get this by uh, by Pythagoras' theorem. So if you have a look at this diagram and I want to find how you denote the size of a vector is that we module sides at the side. So these are just two vertical lines. So put your modulus sign here and by Pythagoras uh, your modulus of A is just going to be equal to the square root of, of this side squared, so x squared and this side squared as well, so y squared, so square root of x squared plus y squared. So if your a is in that form, 
the modulus of a is the square root of x squared plus y squared. So it is very, very easy uh, for us to work with. Okay. Also, if you want to define the direction relative to your angle theta, if you want to define this angle relative to this one, y is my opposite side and the x is my adjacent. So remember, don't forget of your Sogatoa. And tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this case, that means tan theta is equal to your y over your x, which means theta is equal to tans of minus 1 of y over x. And that's all that's in this wee box in here, folks. So your theta is equal to tans of minus 1, uh, tans of minus 1 of y over x. And also your modulus of a is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, so uh, we'll skip that out. You can have we read that in your own time. Find the magnitude and direction of this vector. Good idea to do in these questions is to do a wee diagram. So it was 2i, that means 2 this way, and then minus 4j, that means 4 this way. Minus 4j means going downwards, of course. So that's what you've got to find, and you want to find the magnitude. So make it a right angle triangle, add in your angle, and we'll start with our magnitude first of all. So the magnitude is just this length here. So it's this length we're looking for. So it is equal to, by Pythagoras, it is equal to square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. And then that's just going to be 4 plus 16, square root of 4 plus 16, so square root of 20. It'll give you an exact perfect answer of 2 root 5 units. And you may want to give that to uh, decimal places. Um, so two decimal places, whatever, whatever it's going to be, but two root five units is a perfect answer. Okay, to find the direction, tan is equal to, remember that's your opposite over your adjacent, so it's equal to opposite over adjacent. So in this case, tan theta is equal to four over two, which means theta is equal to tan to the minus one of four over two. And in this case, theta is equal to 63.43 degrees to two decimal places. Now read the question again. It says, find the magnitude and direction of the vector. Um, I would put a wee line in it there just to say magnitude magnitude x at 63.43 Four three degrees below the horizontal. Okay, I've got three examples here in this page, which are maybe a wee bit uh, beyond what you need at GCSE for the mass, but we'll have a look at them anyway. So this first example says, find the vector of magnitude 10 in the direction of the vector uh, minus 3, 4. So what we're going to do is find the magnitude, find the magnitude of that vector. So magnitude of minus 3, 4. So we're just going to say the magnitude is equal to, and remember, it's the square root of x squared plus y squared. So it's the square root of minus 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is going to be the square root of 9 plus 16, which is the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Okay, so what we have shown is that this vector has a length of 5. Its size, its uh, length, its magnitude is 5. So question asks us to find a vector of magnitude 10 in the direction of this thing. So it only has to be twice as big as this thing. Our answer is going to be twice as big as this one. So we'll just say, so minus 3, 4 is uh, length, we'll just say, length 5. So if you just double that, so minus 6, 8. is length 10, and that's it.
Okay, this this one says a vector c is parallel to uh, minus root 24i plus 4j and has a magnitude of 3 root 10, find c. So again, we're going to find the magnitude of this one. So we'll just say magnitude of minus root 24i, oops, i plus 4j is equal to the square root of minus root of 24 squared plus uh, 4 squared, which is going to be 24 plus 16, which is going to work out to be root of 40. And if you did root 40, it's going to be 2, if you do up, hit root 40 into your calculator, it's going to be 2 root 10. Okay? So, we found that we know that our vector, our original vector, has a magnitude of root 2 root 10. So we could uh, think, well, how do we get from 2 root 10 uh, to 3 root 10? So just say we, oops, we get from 2 root 10 to 3 root 10 by multiplying by 1.5. I mean, so uh, our answer is going to be 1.5 times minus root 24i plus the 4j, and I need my brackets there, and then we're just going to work that out and see what we get. Okay, so if you do that in your calculator, 1.5 times minus root 24, what you're going to get is minus 3 root 6 is what it's going to come out as on your calculator times i. And again, if you do your 1.5 times the 4, you're going to get 6j, and that is your answer. Okay, we're just going to go back and do the previous example uh, using a different method, just, just to show you really another way that we can do this. Now, this isn't really something that um, is on your course, but it's maybe a, a, a way that you may find a wee bit simpler than what I've just done for previous two examples. So find a magnitude, a vector of magnitude 10 in the direction of minus 3, 4. So we're going to start this question, and, and what we're going to do is find what's called a unit vector. Now a unit vector, a unit vector, and how you denote it, uh, denote it is a with a wee hat is equal to your vector a divided by the length of your vector. Now if you imagine we had a vector, um, We'll use, just do this one to explain it here. So we'll find our vector. We'll say let a be equal to uh, minus 3i plus 4j. And what we're going to do is find the length of our vector. So if you find the length of our vector, it's going to be minus 3 squared plus 4 squared. And I'm omitting the working out here, but that would be uh, 9 plus 16, which is 25, squared of 25, which is 5. So we have shown that our vector has a length of 5. So if you want to make it a, a length of 1, if something has a length 5, you want to make it a length 1, you would divide it by 5. So basically you divide it by its own length. So that means Ra is equal to uh, minus 3i plus 4j all divided by 5, which is minus 3 fifths i plus 4, plus, uh, 4 fifths j. So that is our unit vector. So the length, very importantly, the length of this vector is now 1. Now why this is maybe an easier method for some people is then once you've got a length of 1, you can make it whatever length you want. You can make it 10, as it is in this question, by multiplying by 10. You can make it 100 by multiplying it by 100. You can make it, you can make it 0.5 by multiplying by 0.5. You can make it 2 thirds by multiplying by 2 thirds. So once you get something to a length 1, you can make it whatever length you want it to be. So... Uh, our answer then, answer, uh, a vector length 10 is then going to be just 10 upon whatever I've just worked out, 3 over 5i plus 4 over 5j. And if you did that out, what you would get is minus 6i plus 8j. So exactly the same as we had got using our method earlier on. 
But the method earlier on was probably a wee bit nicer. The numbers were maybe, wee, maybe a bit nicer. Uh, but this method works for everything. So if you use your unit vector method, it will work for everything. But again, just to reiterate what I said earlier on about these examples, these are probably a wee bit, a wee bit harder than you'll ever get in GCSE for other maths. Okay, and this example says, if A is equal to column vector 1, 2, and B is equal to column vector minus 3, 0, find the magnitude of 3A minus 2B, and the angle it makes with the vector I to one decimal place. First thing we need to find is we need to find 3A minus 2B. So that's 3 times A would be 3, 6, and then minus 2B, whoop, 2B is going to be minus 6, 0. So when you work that out, what you're going to get is 3 minus minus 6, which is 3, plus 6, which is 9, 6 minus 0, which is uh, 6. So your modulus, we're just going to say uh, modulus of 3a minus 2b just equals, and that's just be 9 squared plus 6 squared, and the square root of all that, so what's that going to be? Uh, 81 plus 36 squared, do it on your calculator, and what you get on your calculator is 3 root 13. So there we've got your modulus. I will do a diagram to find the angle bit. So it was 9, 6, so that means 9 to the right, and then 6 up in the air. Whoops. And there we have it. That's the angle we're looking for, and this, remember, was our 3a minus 2b. So right angle triangle. Tan theta then is equal to uh, opposite, which is this side over the adjacent, which is this side. So tan of theta is equal to 6 over 9, which means theta is equal to tan to the minus 1 of 6 over 9, which means theta is equal to, and it's going to be 33.7 degrees to 1 decimal place.